Uh, there's entrepreneurs, developers, designers, um, project managers, angel investors come, and we have mentors. And what happens is that after these people with ideas or things they wanted to build or a project they're working on pitch, uh, they have 90 seconds. Everyone else um, goes around and talks to each other, and they form teams and then start building their ideas through the weekend. Uh, at the end of the weekend, they get a chance to show what they've built to everyone else, and we have a feedback panelist uh, that, um, that will give them feedback in front of the audience, in front of everyone else. And so everyone gets to benefit by hearing about what some experts think about what each other or their compatriots have done. And this differs from a hackathon. That's, that's, why what, I was gonna, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> that, that's why I wanted to say, because the way this works is that we, it's not a competition. So There's no gonna, winners? No winners. The, the idea is if we make it a collaborative event where everyone tries to help each other, we really benefit the community a lot more than if it's a competition where everyone's like kind of secretive and not wanting to help each other because they want to win. Right, so that's been a huge differentiator. The way there is kind of a winner, though. Well, yeah, so we do okay. give some prizes to the people who are the ones who collaborate the most yes. with others. So how, how, how does that happen? Well, I like to say we we have uh, in in a few ways it happens. Uh, in one way is that every t each team that forms, we create a poster for that team and we hang it on the wall in Cruzio. And if they need help, they could write what they help if they're not doing anything. And that helps to uh, enable everyone to know everyone else there. We have the mentor's pictures on the wall so they know who they are. But what we really have is this tech raising token or coin. And each team will get a certain number of those coins. And if somebody gives them help, not somebody from their own team, but from another team, they get a coin. Or the, um, the people that got the help have the option to give a coin to that person. So the people who collect the most coins will get the rewards. Cool, so it's definitely a collaborative effort. It's a, um, you get, I guess, um, you get incentivized to help one another. But I feel like we don't even have to do that. That just almost even naturally just happens. It does, but it's, it's, it's nice to, uh, to bring it more into people's consciousness during the event by doing that. And they love getting these little things that are really cool. Last year we used, like, we had custom-made poker chips, that yeah. weighted co poker chips that we used as the coins. With the tech raising logo. Um, I feel like something special about tech raising is, uh, it's just, it was kind of before, like, the current boom. Uh, it, it was kind of like, and a lot of people that came out of tech raising are doing amazing things still in tech, but you know, with their own companies or involved in like Looker and Amazon and not Plantronics, but Poly now. You know, they're like, we, I feel like it really like it spread its wings for sure. It, it's been great. And we have startups in Santa Cruz right now. Uh, Supply Shift got its, was founded at a, San, at a tech raising event. Um, to Alex and Jamie came with an idea. They hadn't built anything, they didn't code at all, and they pitched their idea and they ended up building a company that's gone through series A and B financing, uh, I mean funding. They have uh, 40 employees, they're located in downtown Santa Cruz. It, it's And the idea happened cool. right at tech raising. Well, and, and, the, and the funny thing is when I, we started tech raising, the idea was, well, let's give people a little boost. I, I, felt like the event's focus was to bring the community together, not necessarily to build startups. I knew that would come out of it, but to see like something like that happen is like great. Yeah. So that's the that's the weekend, the special event on the weekend, but you are doing a special series now. Actually, I think the first one is um, the 23rd of this month. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. This is uh, Tech Raising Entrepreneurship Clinics. and. Um, the way it got started is I was talking with a colleague of mine, John Marshall, and John has had a few um, successful businesses, startups that he bootstrapped and exited. And uh, he also was an angel investor, and now he wants to give back to the community. And in talking to him, we talked about some of the ways we could help entrepreneurs in Santa Cruz. And one way is to prepare them better for the journey and also prepare them better to actually get funding. He, he, he had seen a lot of people come to his angel group to you know pitch and get funding, and he thought a lot of them would have done much better if they were prepared better. 
So that was the genesis of why the, the series was created. So what we're going to do in this series is have uh, six events or six clinics, really. Is it like one a month? Uh, no, they're going to be every week. There's going to be a week in between. Oh, wow. There's going to be a week in between a, a couple just because the room wasn't available. But uh, a, a clinic is... It's a not a clinic like I have a rash. I'm kind of coming. It's kind of <laughs> like a clinic like you have a rash. My, actually, it is. People are going to come with problems, and they're going to get help with okay. their problems. So there'll be a short ointment. presentation, and you know, after the presentation, ointment will be passed out. <laughs> Sign us up. It's got a real issue for tech. Exactly. So, um, what? Okay, can you tell me, like, real briefly, what are those um, six clinics? Yeah. So the first one is going to be uh, getting your first customer or improving your customer acquisition funnel. Okay. And that's going to be with John Stebbins. Uh, John uh, is a, a great marketer and, and salesperson. Who helps design sales uh, processes for companies and businesses. Um, and he's, he's particularly good at that early stage company. How do you figure out what your customer really needs? And then how do you design your product okay. and your offering around that? We have, um, we have uh, Bill Richter, who is a local business attorney who specializes in, in business formation and uh, helping your company from early stage go through all the process you need and have all your ducks in a row so that when somebody wants to buy you or you want to go public or something like that, you're going to be able to do it without like all this cleanup work okay. later. We have um, Bill, Bill Riley. Have, that was Bill oh, Pat, Richter. Pat, sorry, Pat Riley. Pat Riley is going to come and do IP. He's a great IP attorney from town. So if you're building something, you kind of want to protect it. Uh, these artists will tell you about that later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How about the, um, you have somebody dealing with hardware? Yeah, Chrissy Meyer. Chrissy yeah. was at Apple and then Pearl Automation. Uh, she is now a VC at, with a firm, I think it's called Root Ventures, mm -hmm. and they invest uh, solely in hardware. And so she's, she knows it from both sides. She knows it from, hey, this is what you need to do to build hardware. This is how you build that hardware. And this is how you pitch that hardware to investor, because hardware is not easy to get investment about. True. And then you have um, G, Bashan. Ah, Craig. Craig. Yeah, yeah. Craig is uh, funding. Craig has uh, uh, knows every way to get money for your company. He uh, he worked in corporate development. He's worked for extremely large companies, and he's also helped startups raise over a billion dollars. So, kind of summarize it. Quite, who should go to the this clinic? There was one more. Okay. Oh, sorry. You who? missed one. Oh, sorry. Who? John Marshall. Oh, John Marshall. You yeah. just mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. John uh, will do his clinic on MVP or first product. What does that first product look like? How do you decide what goes in it? Uh, and how do you build it so you can actually uh, launch in a reasonable amount of time and receive feedback from that? And how will it change over the next uh, short period of time? Nice. Okay. So then let's get to it. Who, summarize who could. Who should go to these clinics? So these clinics are for anyone with an existing startup, anyone who um, who is just getting started, or anyone who's thinking about starting a company or works for a, a startup. So it's really for the gamut. If you're interested in like, if you're working for a company and you see like, we need to improve our sales process, come. If you If you need funding, come on down. Even if it's not your role, if you're in a small company, you can share that. And it's also good if you're, even if you're not entrepreneurial, but a freelancer or okay. in a, a small business of any type, the concepts shared in these clinics will be useful to you as well. So if somebody wants to find out more information about these, because of course it starts um, this month on the 23rd and six weeks therefore, um, where do they go? What website could they go find out more so, information? So if you want to learn more about tech raising, you can go to techraising.com. That's like barn raising for tech. <laughs> it was it was your idea. One word. <laughs> yeah. 
you picked a better <laughs> website than I did, or the main name. So techraising.com, or you can also Google it and find out all the cool stories for the last you know 40 years of tech raising. Yeah, Matthew didn't say he's like one of the instigators in getting this all started, though. You know, Matthew. All I did is you know feed Fess people. up, come on. I feed people and I tell people where the bathroom is. Without, Ma <laughs> without Matthew, it never would have happened. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm super excited. I'm glad that you're keeping the torch going. So Andrew Mueller, tech raising, techraising.com. And let's go ahead and see everybody on the 23rd. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you, Matthew. Now to the interesting stuff. <laughs> All right.